Hello, this is Billy Core from the Nostalgia Mall, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a neat little tool that you can use on your copy of Windows 98 that kind of makes it run faster on older computers. You see, um, Windows 98, um, as you know, comes with um, Active Desktop and is tightly integrated with Internet Explorer. And um, for most cases, um, that's not a problem at all. Um, it runs just fine, especially on faster systems, but if you're running Windows 98 on an um, older system like this um, Packard Bell right here, this Platinum Pro 22 from 1996, um, it will run, but not very efficiently. And this is where this tool comes in to quite handy. It's a little tool called 98 Lite, and you may have heard about this before. I actually um, showed it in a video a couple of years ago, but that was kind of squeezed into um, another video. So um, today I want to do a more in-depth video on um, what 98 Lite is like and how to install it and set it up. So basically, what is 98 Lite? Well, it's a shell that you um, can install into Windows 98 that makes the interface um, pretty much just like the interface you get on Windows 95 without the Active Desktop or Internet Explorer or any of that kind of stuff. And it also has this handy feature where you can um, add and remove more Windows components um, than you normally can in Windows 98. Now this computer right here, um, this Packard Bell, is running 98 Lite at the moment. And as you can see, it has um, the higher color icons that come with Windows 98. Um, and you can even get the uh, gradients on the uh, tile bars right here, although I um, don't have, mine's not working at the moment. But you can see that it will work. Um, but anyway, um, you get a lot of the good stuff of Windows 98, but you also get the uh, much lighter um, interface of Windows 95. Um, for example, when you double-click my computer, you don't get any of the um, crazy links on the side or um, anything like that. It just runs identically to Windows 95. But as you can see, it's still Windows 98, although um, you may notice that it has a copyright 1996. Well, that's because when you install 98 Lite, it actually takes the the um, Windows Explorer and Shell information out of um, a, a um, already owned Windows 95 CD, and it copies it over to Windows 98, hence why you get that older copyright date. Same thing with the Start menu. Um, you don't get um, the uh, feature where you can put the uh, program groups in your um, own particular row or order I should say but you can as you can see here it's quite zippy a little bit zippier than it is in regular plain old Windows 98 and so for a system like this which is running a Pentium 200 megahertz um, MMX overdrive which um, I will admit I did have regular 98 installed on here up until yesterday and it ran pretty well I do admit having the uh, the uh, 98 light shell on here does give it a bit more speed. Now why would you want to do this to begin with instead of running Windows 95? Well, the nice thing about having the 98 light shell is, is that it gives you the um, speed and the um, interface and look and feel for the most part from Windows 95 with the software and hardware compatibility of Windows 98 because certain things in 95 like USB support while it's there just wasn't quite ready yet on 95, but on 98 runs a lot better. For one thing, um, you can't use certain USB game controllers in 95, but on 98 you can, which is really nice. And if you're like me and you um, have a Packard Bell where you want to keep it looking uh, mostly original with um, Windows 95, but you want the compatibility of 98, well, 98 Lite is where you want to go. And one more thing I want to show is um, where you can add and remove certain things from 98 Lite. 
you can even completely take out Internet Explorer, which is pretty cool. Keep in mind, this was coming out at a time when uh, people were quite suspicious of what Microsoft was up to with um, integrating 98 in 98 with uh, Internet Explorer. A lot of people didn't really care for that, um, namely uh, Nathan Lineback of ToastyTech.com. <laughs> Go to his website and you'll see all um, he had to say about Internet Explorer back in the late 90s. Wasn't too happy with it. But you can see here, you can take out a lot more stuff than you can in vanilla Windows 98. Like I even took out Windows Update since you can't really use it nowadays. And as I mentioned earlier, you can even take out Internet Explorer 5, which is pretty interesting. So, um, what we're going to do now is we're going to switch over to... Um, direct video capture on a PCM emulation I've got on my main computer and I'm going to show you how to set up Windows 98 Lite. So one moment, let's head over there. Okay, here we are in my uh, emulated Windows 98 computer on PCM, which by the way, if you don't know what PCM is, it's a really, really cool emulator that emulates all kinds of um, vintage computers from the uh, IBM XT, I believe, all the way up to uh, late 90s Socket 7 systems. So, for stuff like this, um, especially for making videos like this, it is a very, very handy tool. And you can even emulate Packard Bells on it, which I want to make a video about that at some point. But enough about that. Let's um, check out PCM um, and 98 Lite. I went on ahead and loaded the ISO. If you're wondering where you can get a copy of 98 Lite, well, I'm not going to directly link it to you because of um, copyrights um, and I don't want to risk uh, my channel going away because of one little link, but just search for 98 Lite Enterprise and you'll probably find it somewhere. So anyway, I've loaded the ISO up. Let's go to my computer. And by the way, as you can see here, this is running the um, plain old vanilla 98. This is what it looks like. you got this bar on the side in Explorer. And in the start menu, you can, you can do stuff like uh, moving um, items in the start menu, which came about in the active desktop update in Windows 95 on Internet Explorer 4. But right here, um, you can find the files um, that contain 98 Lite and the um, Windows 95 Explorer files. Now, normally when you get a plain copy of 98 Lite, it's not going to have the Windows 95 files you need. You'll need to have a uh, copy of Windows 95 B or sometimes called OSR2 on hand in order to get the uh, Explorer files out of there and into 98 Lite. So when you if, when you get a copy of 98 Lite you're gonna have to get yourself a copy of 95 as well. But anyway what we need to do with these files first we need to go to um, folder options under view Go to view again right here and under hidden files have it show all files because there's a few files over here we're going to have to copy that are normally hidden. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to just go ahead and select all of this and right click and go copy. And now this is assuming that you've installed Windows 98 the way I do which is copying um, all the uh, install files to a folder on the hard drive. What I usually do is I copy them to Windows slash Options slash Cabs, which is where we're going to go. So you're going you're gonna to have to have all your 98 install files copied to your hard drive into a folder. And you're going to go to that folder, go to Cabs, where all the CAB files are, and you're going to go ahead and copy the files from the 98 Lite CD over to um, the folder where your 98 install files are. And there you go. I'm just going to reorganize that a little bit and what I usually like to do just because it's easier for me I just go to run and I uh, go to the directory I just copy the files to and we're going to type in um, 98lite.exe or not <laughs> okay me being stupid. 
Maybe this isn't the best tutorial for you guys to be watching. <laughs> so, um... Let's go to uh, cabs. I forgot that. I forgot to add that. And 98lite.exe. And here it is. It loads up into a little um, DOS prompt. Now, um, I forgot to mention a cool thing about this um, program is that not only does it work on Windows 98, but it also works on Windows Millennium Edition, which I've never um, tried it on Millennium Edition before, but that's just simply because. Windows Millennium Edition, I usually don't ever really use that much, but for those of you who do want to try it on Windows Millennium Edition, the option is there. So, um, this just gives you information about what the program does. Go ahead and hit enter. Um, read the license agreement if you have nothing else to do in your day. <laughs> and enter again, and we get several options we can choose from. Um, clean install, which normally um, you can do you can um, install this along with a fresh copy of 98 you, so that it can install while you're installing your copy of 98 but I've tried that before and it usually doesn't work very well so I recommend just um, installing Windows 98 as normal and then just copy the files over like we're doing right now so what we're gonna do um, right now is we're gonna switch over to the 95 shell so what we want to do is go to um, option number three, shell swap. So just hit the number three key on your keyboard. And you get several options. You get number one, the sleek, which is the Windows 95 shell, which is what we saw on the Packard Bell a while ago, which is what we're going to be using on this uh, emulated computer. And you also get an option for chubby, which is um, the 98ME Explorer, but with um, a few things taken out of it which works pretty well, but if you're going to go um, through this process, I, I recommend just going ahead and doing the uh, 95 shell. And you get number three, which is overweight. That's just the standard 98 shell with um, nothing modified. And 98 micro, which I've never used before, but apparently it's the Windows 95 shell with even more stuff taken out. Never tried that, but in this video we're just going to go with um, the Windows 95 Explorer, which is option number one. And right now it's um, copying some files over from the Windows 98, not 98, Windows 95 CD. <laughs> and um, this is going to take a, a couple of minutes. So um, I'll shut up for now and speed this up so um, you can see this a lot quicker through the magic of video editing. Okay, we've got another message here. You have selected to replace the Windows Explorer desktop with the Faster Explorer desktop from Windows 95. And now this is going to uh, take away a few things I mentioned before. It's going to take away the Quick Launch Toolbar, which you can see right here on the taskbar where the Internet Explorer and Show Desktop icons are. Um, single click access, that's the feature in 98 where you can um, just single click icons instead of double clicking, which is turned off at the moment. And it will um, also, um, I think there's a typo here, it'll also take away in situ start menu editing. But in return, the desktop will be considerably faster and use fewer resources. And again, this is ideal for older computer systems where you want the speed of Windows 95 but the um, compatibility of Windows 98. But anyway, um, we'll go ahead and press any key. And it's going to do some copying, and uh, we're also going to get this dialog box here. You should close down any open programs, which there's really nothing running right now, so we'll tell it yes. And it's copying the files over, and it's already done. You must restart your computer before the new settings will take effect, so we'll go ahead and do that. And let it restart. It's doing a few more things, but we should be there in a moment. And here we are. 98 Lite is ready to go. The only problem is, is that um, when you um, install 98 Lite, this uh, Welcome to Windows 98 screen will pop up every time you start your computer, even if you do uncheck this um, checkbox right here. 
I believe the only way to permanently get rid of that is just to delete the file in C colon slash windows but other than that not bad at all you can click here and we can see well we I'm moving them I'm holding down the mouse button but you can't co um, move these items anymore which is a shame but in return you do get um, a faster shell and you can see the uh, my computer window along with other folders and uh, programs like that no longer have the active desktop so this is pretty much just like um, Windows 95 but with different colors I guess you could say so we, I'll go ahead and uh, eject the CD image and also when you uh, go in here, well it's not there yet but um, when we do what we're about to do in a minute, you'll get a uh, custom OEM logo for 98 Lite. But as you can see, this is just plain old, uh, honest to goodness, Windows. Classic Windows, that is, I guess you could say. And it looks just like Windows 95. There's really not much else to say about that. But one more thing we can do, we'll go to the Start menu here and we got a shortcut for um, the 98 light program um, we were in earlier and we're gonna go through this again and this time we're gonna go to option 2 take control which converts certain Windows features to, to be optional and these are the some of the uh, programs that will become optional that you can remove once it's um, done working its magic as it says and again this will take a few minutes and the big thing you can get rid of with this, of course, is Internet Explorer, which was um, a popular thing to do back in the day. Um, of course, not a lot of people had access to 98 Lite, I imagine, back then. But I know um, there were a few people out there when Windows 98 was a thing, a current thing, that did not like the web integra integration at all. Like I said, go check out tosytech.com. That guy hated Windows 98 with a passion because of Internet Explorer. But anyway, um, add new setup options, tell it yes. And we're done. Don't have to do any rebooting. So we'll go up to 98 Lite here. And I was showing this a while ago on the Packard Bell. But this is the um, normal window you go to to add and remove Windows features. But this time we should get a lot more options and I probably should have shown up before before I did this but oh well main thing I want to show though is just um, removing Internet Explorer so we'll go to um, Internet Tools and uncheck Internet Explorer 5 which will also take out Windows Update but seeing that this is the year 2019 I doubt anyone's going to be using Windows Update on Windows 98 anytime soon but you also um, not just in an explorer you can also take out other features such as um, go under system tools you, you can even take out disk defragmenter and the uh, Dr. Watson application so um, I've already told it to get rid of Internet Explorer so all I have to do is just click OK and tell it yes to that and it's going to restart. Okay, coming back up now. Again, this will take a minute or so. Um, I don't know why it's um, detecting new hardware. Um, but it could be a little bit quirky, but I doubt anything is going to go blow up right now. And the good old fashioned Windows 98 drum that always mesmerized me as a kid, and I don't know why. <laughs> usually doesn't take too much to entertain me. And here we are. Believe it or not, this is Windows 98 without the uh, Internet Explorer 5 on here. That's hard to believe that's possible, but it is. And I just noticed that um, the Welcome to Windows 98 screen didn't pop up. Um, I guess when you take out Internet Explorer, it, that goes along with it. So, yeah, look how quickly... Um, this is running now. Unbelievable. It, it's just as um, quick and perky as 95. 
didn't get the 98 light um, OEM info there, but I've never really cared for that anyway. So again, this is uh, mostly ideal for older computers where you want to run um, Windows 98 on, but you don't want it to, you don't want to have the bloated interface that'll bog your system down. I still wouldn't recommend putting 98 on on a computer, even with 98 Lite on something that's uh, made before the MMX, like a, a plain old Pentium or below that. I still recommend um, highly having at least an MMX to run 98 on. But that's just my personal preference. And of course there are a lot of people that, um, that are purists, and I can understand that, who don't want to alter 98 at all. Um, I know a few people like that and um, I'm kind of in the same boat there. If your computer is um, like a Pentium 2 or Pentium 3 like my like my main 98 box, the uh, Carolina Flyer, then um, running all this 98 light stuff on it is pretty much unnecessary. Um, you can get along with the um, web integration and Internet Explorer on those computers without any trouble at all. In my opinion, that is, but anyway, um, I hope this video was good enough for you guys, um, and I hope you had enjoyed it. Maybe hope you learned a few things about Windows 98 and 98 Lite. So um, until next time, this is Billy Core signing off. Thank you for visiting the Nostalgia Mall. If you liked what you saw, please like, subscribe, and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can also support me on Patreon if you would like. The link to all of these are down below. Until next time, this is Billy Core signing off.